Good Tuesday morning to all. Hope you are doing well. Parshat Vaigash, which we're going to be reading this Shabbos, it's a time we celebrate people coming together. Yosef reveals himself to his brothers, and there is Jewish unification, Jewish unity, something indeed to celebrate. And there's a very important Haftorah that we read this Shabbat. It talks about the, the Messianic era. This is the vision of Yechezkel, where the tribes of Israel are going to again come together. And the prophet tells us that you should know that when we reach that point in history, Ve'avdi David Melech Alehem. The Almighty tells us that you should know my servant David, David Melech, will be the king over them. So there's a very fascinating insight from Rabbi Yonason Ibeshitz, uh, the great 18th century authority. And he says the following, the Messianic era is a time of unity, but also of clarity, that we have an understanding of what our mission is about, what we are here for, what we're supposed to achieve. And obviously that brings us together when we have that clarity. But there's a problem. There's a lot of guilt. In other words, when someone could look back at their actions and realize that there are some things I shouldn't have done, there's guilt. And when there's guilt, there's discomfort. And it's hard to be with others, and it's even hard to be with yourself when you carry that burden. And the Almighty communicates to the people of Israel of that time that you should know, Avdi David Melech Alem. King David, David Melech, is not just going to be your king. He's going to inspire you to do tshuva. Because you know, David Melech is the one that has taught all that yes, mistakes are made, but they could be fixed with tshuva. And with the tool of tshuva, we could feel comfortable with ourselves. So David Avdi Melech Alehem, he's going to be your king, but he's going to be your inspiration. Your inspiration to accept yourself, because after doing tshuva, your record is clear. And it's very, very important. We all know that when we feel good about ourselves, when we feel that we are achieving we relate to others as well in a very comfortable and proper way. When there's internal discomfort, uh, sometimes we reflect it on others and relationships are no good. What we look forward, we the people of Israel, is always to a future where we feel comfortable with ourselves and others, feel good with what we are achieving, obviously clear the record with tshuva for those things perhaps we shouldn't have done, and then we could go ahead and unify. That's what we look forward to. So it's a very inspiring Parsha. It's an inspiring Aftara, an opportunity to look forward to better days. And they are coming indeed. It should be a wonderful day. Bye-bye.